Hey everybody, Derek Pierce here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly launch SEO-friendly websites by simply using free cloning tools inside of WordPress. So if you've ever wondered, I wish I could just set up one site as a base or as a template and then just clone it over and over and over again, this video is for you. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you these two websites. So the first is HuntsvilleSEO.net. This is one that I just set up just for this testing purposes and just to show you how to pull this whole thing off. And you will see that this already has a theme. It already has plugins. I'm just going to show you this. If we look at the appearance, you can see we've already got cadence theme. We've got the, the SEO side with rank math. I've installed the rank math plugin, but you look over here and it, so I've got all this set up as far as the configuration of my permalinks and the, all the settings and everything else. All I got to do is just customize this site and it's ready to rock and roll. But you look at this one, we launched this one, which is Tuscaloosa SEO. You see this is the default WordPress theme that it comes with. It doesn't have any kind of, you know, functionality in terms of plugins. It's got the default, you know, hello world. The permalinks are not SEO friendly. And you can see I haven't installed anything to this other than the plugins that we're going to be using. So let me just show you this here. You see, so there's no rank math. There's no cadence there's none of that stuff that's inside this site so what we're going to do is we're going to take this site here with rank math and all the settings and all the wordpress themes that we've plugged in here and then we are going to clone this one over to this so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go over here to plugins and you'll see that i have one installed called all-in-one wp migration so whenever you go to yours you just want to go to add new plugin and you just want to do a search for all-in-one migration and it's this one right here you can see this one you can see it's already active just install it go ahead and activate it you can do this on both sites so you've got one that's going to be your template site and then you've got your other one that you're going to clone everything over to so go ahead and install that one the next one that you want to do a search for is called big file upload by default, WordPress will limit the amount of file sizes that you can upload. So whenever you're creating these clones, typically they're bigger in nature because the themes and all the stuff that's that's associated with those themes. And so what you wanna do is you want to increase the file size. So you can see I've already got this active. This is already installed. So you wanna just do that right there. It's this one by infinite uploads. And so once you do that, what you're gonna do is go to settings and you're gonna to go to big file uploads and you're gonna change this from 64 megabytes. I'm just gonna go ahead and change this to 200. And I'm going to click save. And so this automatically changes the file size that we can upload to this site here. So I'm gonna go back to my template site, the Huntsville SEO. This is the one that we're gonna be cloning from. And we're gonna to go to the dashboard. And again, we're gonna to go to all-in-one migration. And we're just gonna simply click export to and we're going to go to file and you can see this is preparing to export. This will take this just a couple of minutes. And once it, once it's done, it's going to give me a download. And so once we do that, I'll be right back. I'm going to pause the video for now and I'll be right back. All right. You can see this is done and you can see we click right here, download Huntsville SEO.net. So I'm just going to download this and you can see this is 97 megabytes and you see it's done right there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go pop back over to our our new site, the one that is just the default WordPress stuff, right? And we're going to go to all-in-one WP migration. And we are going to, we're going to actually go to import right over here on the left-hand side. We're going to click import and we are going to click to import from a file. And we are going to upload this, this file here. Okay. So we're going to go to Huntsville SEO, which is right here. And this is going to import this. takes us just a couple of minutes. Now, one thing that you want to pay attention to is once you install this and activate this, this is going to change the username from the one that you have now to the one that you are cloning from. So just be aware of that once you do that. Also, you want to realize that if you have already got content on there, this is going to completely erase it. So you you only want to use this in instances where you are quickly you wanting to quickly launch a website. But the benefit is you can set up one website with all of your preferred settings, with all your preferred SEO plugins, with all your preferred uh, uh, WordPress themes, 
the way that you like them so that way you're not having to tinker with this stuff and then just go in and make this the small tweaks to the finished product so this is going to take this just a minute and once this is done i will pause the i'm going to pause the video now once this is done i will come back and show you the finished product so this is what it looks like once this is uploaded the import process will overwrite the website including the database media plugins please ensure you have a backup of your data before presenting the next step so we're going to click proceed and this is all preparing it, finalizing it. So once this is all done, this is going to look exactly like the, the first site that I showed you. So we're going to click finish. And now let's go take a look at it. I'm going to open this in a new tab. And you can see this is now an exact clone. So where the advantage to this is, and yes, we still got to go in and change the, the titles and all that stuff. And we, we've got to remember that our login is now going to be the same as what our Huntsville SEO login is. But this takes it to where we're not having to go in and tinker with all the different settings with some of the plugins, also with some of the themes. We've got it all here laid out. And now all we got to do is just go in and make the, the small modifications with our with our new website. Also, a couple of things. There's some issues that we run into when running this in, in times past. Typically, this has to do with your max post size and also with your timeouts that is all found in your hosting so if you have any kinds of issues then you might want to start checking there where that way you can upload more uh, file size which is one of the things that we did with the plugin that we installed so this is going to allow you to quickly launch sites the big thing is is getting that template down the at first and foremost so that way you can make some of these clones i'll be doing more videos in the near future showing you how to do that now, in closing, I recommend that you go ahead and delete the sample pages, the Hello Worlds, get everything dialed in the way that you want it with your template site, and then start using these to clone these over and over again. This is going to help you as it relates to not having to go in and fiddle around with all the settings, but also this is going to allow you to quickly launch sites, allowing you to scale a whole lot faster. So if you enjoyed this video, I included two more videos that you will see here somewhere on the screen that I think you'll find beneficial. If you enjoyed this video, check those out and I'll see you in the next one.